No trates de escribir la música Deja que esta se escriba sola 29 de agosto 1958 Nació un artista Único el muchacho, una superestrella También es una leyenda en el paseo de la fama Su estrella y nombre brilla Él comenzó su trayectoria musical Junto a sus hermanos en Gary, Indiana En aquel entonces era muy pequeño Pero poco a poco del planeta se hizo dueño El que sabe, sabe, sabe de quién yo les hablo Muchos dicen, muchos piensan que hizo pacto yo no creo y lo que veo es un genio en sus videos Un hombre singular que creció con un deseo Vivir su infancia como la de otros niños Vivir su vida normalmente y con cariños Fue maltratado verbalmente y físicamente Por su propio padre cuando él siempre fue inocente El rey del pop es Michael Jackson El más famoso es Michael Jackson Historia musical de Michael Jackson Así que si no lo conoces no hables mal de Michael Jackson Impresionante era su manera de cantar y bailar El escenario era el lugar donde lo podías mirar y actuar Todo bien coordinado, bien arreglado, público satisfecho Todo el estadio quedó emocionado, concierto logrado Millones de discos vendidos, regados por toda la tierra Canciones hermosas que hablan de paz para evitar la guerra Y yo no comprendo por qué Siempre trataron de joderlo Si el filantropo también fue Por eso no puedo entenderlo Un gran artista Con toda la extensión de la palabra Y mucho humanitario Millones aportaba Para ayudar personas realmente necesitadas Para apoyar al mundo de la crisis que pasaba Un día lo acusaron de violación Por la televisión pasaba la información El ídolo de muchos resultó ser pederasta Pero solamente El emblema Empezaron a atacarlo Pa' tumbarlo de la cima Por dinero y por envidia Vas a recibir traición Familiares de los niños Inventaron violación Investigaron al cantante Tal si fuera delincuente El rancho de Neverland Un lugar muy sorprendente Para el público infantil Y también para su gente Criticado pero amado A Paul Heat, Inocente El rey del pop Es Michael Jackson el más famoso es Michael Jackson Historia musical de Michael Jackson Así que si no lo conoces no hables mal de Michael Jackson I am doing well and I am strong As you may already know, after my tour ended, I remain out of the country undergoing treatment for a dependency on pain medication. This medication was initially prescribed to see the excruciating pain that I was suffering after recent reconstructive surgery on my scalp. There have been many disgusting statements made recently concerning allegations of improper conduct on my part. These statements about me are totally false. As I have maintained from the very beginning, I am hoping for a speedy end to this horrifying, horrifying experience to which I have been subjected. I shall not in this statement respond to all of the false allegations being made against me, since my lawyers have advised me that this is not the proper forum in which to do that. I will say that I am particularly upset by the handling of this mass matter by the incredible, terrible mass media. At every opportunity, the media has dissected and manipulated these allegations to reach their own conclusions. I ask all of you to wait and hear the truth before you label or condemn me. Don't treat me like a criminal, because I am innocent. I have been forced to submit to a dehumanizing and humiliating examination by the Santa Barbara County Sheriff Department and the Los Angeles Police Department earlier this week. They served a search warrant on me which allowed them to view and photograph my body including my penis, my buttocks, my lower torso, thighs, and any other error that they wanted. They were supposedly looking for any discoloration, spotting, blotches, or other evidence of a skin color disorder called vitiligo, which I have previously spoken about. The warrant also directed me 
to cooperate in any examination of my body by their physician to determine the condition of my skin, including whether I have vitiligo or any other skin disorder. The warrant further stated that I had no right to refuse the examination or photographs, and if I failed to cooperate with them, they would introduce that refusal at any trial as an indication of my guilt. It was the most humiliating ordeal of my life, one that no person should ever have to suffer. And even after experiencing the indignity of this search, the parties involved were still not satisfied and wanted to take even more pictures. It was a nightmare, a horrifying nightmare. But if this is what I have to endure to prove my innocence, my complete innocence, so be it. Throughout my life, I have only tried to help thousands upon thousands of children to live happy lives. It brings tears to my eyes when I see any child who suffers. I am not guilty of these allegations, but if I am guilty of anything, it is of giving all that I have, all that I have to give to help children all over the world. It is of loving children of all ages and races. It is of gaining sheer joy from seeing children with their innocent and smiling faces. It is of enjoying through them the childhood that I missed myself. If I am guilty of anything, it is of believing what God said about children. Suffer little children to come unto me, and forbid them not, for such is the kingdom of heaven. In no way do I think that I am God, but I do try to be God-like in my heart. I am totally innocent of any wrongdoing, and I know these terrible allegations will all be proven false. Again, to my friends and fans, thank you very much for all of your support. Together, we will see this through to the very end. I love you very much, and may God bless you all. I love you. Goodbye.